secrets. <laughs> Actually, this isn't funny at all. I should not be laughing. It's been entirely way too long since I did my last video. You guys are probably like, it's about damn time. That was actually pretty perfect of a song because today we are going to be reviewing Lizzo's newest Yitty line with Fabletics. In a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental middle woman to pump me up. Kill them, let me stop before they copyright me because I sound that good. <laughs> so you guys, it literally took like two days to get here. Look at this packaging. I love Lizzo, so I'm gonna try my hardest to not be biased while I'm doing this review. Look at Liz, here she is right here. Look at Liz, here she is, that rhymes. Uh -huh. Supposed to be designed to lift you up. All day, every day, nearly naked, seamless shapes and firms your natural curves and adds zone to support where you want it the most. So there's medium compression, no roll engineering, moisture wicking, and then the labels covering up everything else. But there are some pictures, so I'm pretty sure that I could figure it out if I wanted to. Like this one I know is probably breathable. This next piece right here is gonna be the first one that I open up is the Bralette Mesh Me Smoothing Midi Bralette. It is in bare ass mauve. That's the color that it's in, you guys. I was in love with all the names of the colors. Hilarious. I absolutely love this. This is what really, really sold me on this is the fact that it has cash. I want everything on the site, but this is what really sold me when it came to this bralette was that you can see the breathability in it. And when it comes to that, especially in the summertime, I cannot wait. I need comfort. I need to be able to have the girls breathe when I do have to wear a bra. Y'all know I don't like wearing them. On the inside, it does say Yitty right here. And I'm feeling that it definitely has like that material where it helps you not roll down, um, if you will. Like it kind of grips, if that makes any sense. You can feel it. You guys know what I'm talking about, that material, right? That like Kind of feels sticky, but it's not sticky. So that's the first piece. And then the second piece that actually comes in the beautiful packaging says shaping high waist thong is in a medium large is what I got. Usually I'm in between medium or large when it comes to my underwear. I'm so excited about this because I'm not a big support like person. I don't wear too much shapewear. But when I do, I like for it to not only suck me in, but I like for it to be comfortable. Sometimes I get shapewear and it's underwear, but it's not a thong. And it makes no sense because you have something sucking you in midway but then like you can see the line like the panty line and I hate that so I am so happy that they're starting to make shapewear with thongs um it's not supposed to be rolling down and stuff and again it has that like kind of sticky you guys can even see it right can you see me kind of pulling that apart it's got that material again where it's like grippy and not sticky but grippy and it says yitty on there and the crotch area Looks like something, but it's not. It's just got stripes on it. I'm about to try these on for you guys. I have tried on a lot of shapewear, especially like most recently, a lot of skims. So I'm gonna really be able to compare it to you guys and let you know the real deal and how I feel. Okay guys, so <laughs> as you can see, when I was putting on the support hose, why do I keep calling it support? Oh, is this a support thong? Is this a support thong? When I was putting on the support thong, I don't know. Maybe I got the wrong size. Maybe I should have gotten up. But if not, because I definitely got my size. Like, these are so tight. They are so tight, and they are definitely rolling down. And to be honest with you, they are so tight that they are giving me muffin top. Like, they're actually making my appearance worse because they are so extremely tight. So, I don't know about the thong. It's not giving what it's supposed to give, but we'll talk about that. We will talk about it in our final final review. Um, But the bra, you guys, look how gorgeous this is. Like, I love this. It's so comfortable. Again, we'll see on the back how well it's support. Like, look at this. You guys see how tight that is? All right, don't be biased because you like Lizzo. Do not be biased because you like Lizzo. Positives first, you guys. So I did absolutely love the color selection of all of these items so far that are on the Fabletics line. Yitty with Lizzo. I think that they are amazing. I think that the coloring names of them is so unique and hilarious. Um, I love the sizes. That's another big thing. I absolutely love how inclusive everything is. It's obvious that I have this bra on. I absolutely loved this bra. I thought that it was made very well. The only thing is that, and I will get into it more when I talk about the negatives, is the fact that it doesn't actually like support when it comes to, you know, smoothing things out, what it's really supposed to do. Um, getting into the negatives now. 
This line is supposed to be something that is more of a support line when it comes to smoothing things out, sucking you in, making you feel more confident about yourself. And I would say that it does the absolute opposite of that. Um, especially the underwear, I realized that it didn't, you guys got to see, like it wasn't even worth trying other things on with it because you saw it physically was giving me a muffin top. It was, it was like pushing fat up more than it was supposed to. So it was making me have a worse appearance than without having it on at all and I just think for it being you know support items that that's not a good thing so the black thong right here um I would say that it's very well made I love that it does have the stickiness at the top to supposedly not make it roll down but it does roll down so it's just I don't know I feel like maybe things will get better through time because it's a pretty brand new line but I just I didn't think that it does what it's supposed to do like it's not given um when it comes to the actual support things now the material the fabric everything is so nicely made again even with the bra like I actually love this like I would wear this all the time which I'm going to because I feel comfortable in it. It's cute. I love the color. I think that it's just, you know, it's really nice. It passed the bounce test. Again, it doesn't smooth anything out. It's not anything unique when it comes to any type of technology to make you feel better about yourself. It's just a really cute bra that I would wear. But yeah, it's not anything that I would put on purposely, you know, wearing a dress or anything like that to make me appear smaller. So I actually really like this stuff when it comes to the way it looks and the color selection and the actual fabric of it. I would give that an A+. Plus. But when it comes to what it's supposed to actually do, which is support and suck you in and smooth things out, I would say that it fails. It fails horribly in that department. So being that I love Lizzo, I would definitely say that I'm going to give her a chance. I have not tried everything on the website yet. Obviously, there's way more products that you can try. Um, again, I would get it for something just to be cute in, but would I get it for the actual support thing, what it's supposed to do? No. So, saying all that, the Yiddy Fabletics line for Lizzo is going to have to be getting a Brick Rat Clown today because it's just it's not doing what it's supposed to do. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you've tried anything yet, let me know. Maybe I got wrong sizes or something. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be talking to you again very soon with another review.